Hey guys, it's the Blinding Creeper. Um, I'm back at the test range again with uh, Bob. This is Bob, right? Uh, yesterday I done a video on how this is going to work. This is Bob, right? Yeah, the Coke bottle's Bob. Um, this is going to act as our ballistics gel to see if it actually penetrates through the armor. And yeah, I don't think it's going to work, but who knows? Um, I, all the crosses you see are actually good. I've marked out where the cans are actually are. Um, I've I, I put Bob's name here. So let's see if Bob lives. So what's going to happen is we're going to shoot from the 100 meter mark, the 50 meter mark, and then the closest, which will be kind of like pistol range. So I'm going to um, set Bob up down range. And yes, the pellets I'll be using are the ones I used yesterday, which were the pointed .177. So yeah, I'm just going to go set Bob up and we'll see what the damage is like. Okay, right, so now we've got Bob set up down range, um, I'm going to back up to 100 meters, or 100 feet, may I say, and let's put a round in and see how well the armor reacts. So, I backed up to 100 meter, uh, feet, took a bit of time to aim, and yes, it is windy. So we hit Bob. Surprisingly, it stopped the round. So from 100 feet onwards, this will actually stop the round because I can hear it, and it's not in, it's not penetrated, it's not even broken the back. So one of the cans has actually stopped the round. So as you can see, near dead center. Um. Being that close, that far away, you would survive. So, Bob's still alive. Um, so now what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna aim here to this cross. I'm gonna back up to 50 meters. We'll try again, see if that works. And then if he still survives, we're gonna back up to like 10, probably 10 meters, which is basically behind the camera. And then we'll try again. And for those who are wondering, I'm not using a camera, I'm using a tablet, so. Well. There you go, Bob. Right. So Bob set back up. He's waiting to get shot again. Um, 50 meters, and then 10 meters if he survives. Damn it, dropped it. There we go. All right. So. We're well, now at 50 meters, shooting at Bob. Okay, so we hit him. Let's see where we hit him. Okay. So it exited. Okay. So. I hit, surprisingly, I was trying to aim for the left, but as you can see, that fresh entrance wound, and you can see it actually exited. So, 50 meters with this, you're not gonna mainly survive, but that would have punctured probably you if it had enough kinetic energy. So, 
Did it actually clear it though? Yeah, it cleared the whole thing. So 50 meters is a maybe depending on where you get hit. So 10 meters. Sorry, Bob. If Bob survives the video, or if Bob survives this survives this video, um, comment if you want to see Bob in another uh, video, or tell me if you want me to kill Bob. If he survives this video, I mean, by all means, tell me if you want me to kill Bob. Um, but I don't think he's going to survive this round because if it penetrated at 50 meters, at 10, uh, 10 meters, this is basically a pistol range. So here we go. actually lived so Bob's still alive as you can see the entrance hole no exit hole that is the second shot there's no third exit hole so Bob you would at 10 feet, it's a possibility, but we're going to try again at 10 feet again to uh, see if we can actually get a round through. But if Bob survives this round again, then I'll kill Bob in the next video. Damn it. So, Bob is a lucky son of a bitch. Do I move the zero in? Yeah, I think it's dead. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Right. So, sorry about that, my zeroing kind of went off. I had to resort that out, but if Bob survives this round, we are about roughly nine feet because. I'm literally standing in front of the camera because you can see the barrel. So if Bob survives this round, I'll try and kill him in the next video. Did Bob survive? Okay, so at 10 feet, Bob has survived. So let's have a look. Yeah, only one round has penetrated, but Bob has miraculously survived. Um, so, to be honest, do you think, should we kill Bob in the next video or not? I think we should, um, but if you want to see more tests like this, there we go. So, as you can see, Bob is still alive, he hasn't been injured, Bob is still living, um, so, the only round to accept was probably that odd one that actually made its um, entry hole and probably uh, went all the way through. Uh, found a gap through all the cans. Sorry about this, I'm trying to clean up the body armor so that you guys can see. Okay, right. So this is your um, clothing, right? And then obviously this is where Bob was basically standing. That's the only round that actually scratched the back and continued on going. As you can hear, there's rounds still in there. So 
I shot one, two, three, four rounds into him. And only, there's three rounds caught in here, only one round exited. So, generally, that wouldn't be a life-threatening wound because it's lower than the lung. So, you got a good chance of surviving that, but, yeah, again, I wouldn't count on it. I'm gonna try and put another round at 50 feet through. Um, if it doesn't work, then, yeah. So, at the moment, we've got four rounds in the vest. So, yeah, let's try it again. And this time, it doesn't have bob. So this time it doesn't have bob. Let's try again. Okay. I mistaken that and shot it 10 foot, but look at that. The round is still there. So that's a possibility. Messed the round. Legit. So, you know, so. I promise in the next video I'll kill Bob, but um, if you guys want me to kill Bob or wait till Bob dies in a video, um, by all means send me a comment saying um, make a target like this, I'll try and make it, and put Bob behind it, and if Bob's still alive, then yeah, I'll keep shooting at him until he dies in a video. But anyway, this is the Blinding Creeper, signing out.